welcome to the Home Bookkeeper YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Emily, the Home Bookkeeper, and I'm also the owner director of my business financial services and development firm, EDJ Consulting Group. On this channel, I help business owners and fellow freelance bookkeepers navigate the ever-changing QuickBooks Online. As always, this is a sample company provided by QuickBooks for educational purposes only. In today's video, I am going over the multiple ways you can complete an owner's draw. First, let's click on the gear icon. Under your company, click the chart of accounts link. Once you've entered your chart of accounts, click the green new button. Here, the new account screen populated. Under account type, select equity. When you are a sole proprietor or even a single member LLC, you and your business are the same. So you are your business's equity. Under the detail type, select owner's equity. Now you can edit the account name and or add a description. For the sake of this video, let's describe this as owner's draw. Once complete, click save and close. Now to print your check, click the new button on the top left side of your screen. Then under the vendors column, click check. Now that you are in the check screen, you can enter all the check details. Under payee, find your name. You should be in the system, but if not, add your details like you would any other payee for the first time. And make sure the check number matches the check you are going to place into your printer. Since we added in the owner's equity account in the chart of accounts, select it here as the transaction category. Under the description, you can add a description of this transaction. Then enter the amount. You can add a memo if you wish. This will print on the check, so make sure you don't add any information that's private or personal. Now review your check details and click Save and Close. Since we clicked Save and Close, we saved the check data and closed the check details screen. To print your check, simply click on the Expenses tab. Click on the check transaction you wish to print. Once in the check details screen, click the Print Check button on the bottom taskbar. If this is your first time printing a check, this is the screen you will see the Print Checks Setup screen. First, select the style of checks you wish to print, either a voucher, which is most common, or a standard sheet. Once you are done setting up your check printing preferences, click the green I'm finished with Setup button. Now select the check you wish to print. In our case, there is only one to choose from. Reconfirm the details, type in the check number, and click the green Preview and Print button. Here, the Print Preview window pops up. Review and click the green Print button if everything looks correct. Did your checks print correctly? If yes, click the green Done button. If no, then select a different option. There are always multiple ways to complete tasks in QuickBooks Online. They do this so it's not only easier for you as a user, but also reduces the amount of accounting mistakes. Now I'm going to show you a second way to complete the same task in a shorter amount of time. Head over to the toolbar and click on the Expenses tab. Once in the Expenses screen, select the green New Transaction button and click Check. This will bring you back to the check details screen, which should look familiar to you. Now you could enter all the details just like you were able to before. Since I'm showing you an additional way to do something we've already done, some of the data may be automatically populated. However, imagine we didn't already create the owner's equity account in the chart of accounts. You can simply do so by typing in the account you are looking for or wish to create, and when nothing generates in the category dropdown, click the Add button. This will generate a new account window. You can enter details here just as you could when we clicked 
the chart of accounts through the gear icon. When there are multiple ways to do something, there is no one correct way. It's all preference. Find what works for you, and if you need assistance, I am always publishing new tutorials and informational videos here on my Home Bookkeeper YouTube channel. For more business resources, supplies, gadgets, must-haves, and more, make sure to check out edjconsultinggroup.com backslash resources, linked in the description box below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on those bell notifications so you'll never miss an upload. For even more content, feel free to follow me on Instagram, at Emma Dawn, and connect with me on LinkedIn. If you are in need of more assistance, personalized one-on-one -on -one business coaching, or business development consulting services, feel free to email or visit edjconsultinggroup.com for a full list of resources. My firm is fully inclusive and ready to help you along wherever you may be in your entrepreneurship journey.